में वाकत डिग्री सची को बोल ईमेल guys welcome back to my channel today is friday yay it's friday finally i felt like this week has gone by so slow and so fast at the same time explain that to me but happy friday i'm gonna start a little weekend vlog and just film what our typical weekends are like because our weekends have been very consistent lately we basically do the same thing Saturdays, same thing Sunday. Just a little bit of switch up here and there, but for the most part, they're the same. So I want to take you along this weekend. Hi. Hey. Hey. Hi. Someone is very talkative in the morning, if you can't tell. But it is almost 8 o'clock, I think. So he woke up at like 6 today, and I fed him, put him back down, because normally he'll go back to sleep for like another hour or two, honestly. Like sometimes he goes back to sleep, what's up at like 8.30. Sometimes he goes, he wakes up at like 7. But today, he cried for a long time. And I kept giving him that chance to go back to sleep, and he did it. So we ended up really getting out of bed at like 6.45 because he didn't want to go back to sleep. So here we are. We chilled in bed for a little bit like we do every morning. I got ready a little bit and now we're downstairs listening to Maverick City music. Fed Rocco and let him out. We're getting on with our day. If you saw my last video, you saw me set this little organizer up and I love it so much. I love the look of it, the functionality of it, everything. <gasps> oh, do you want to talk? <laughs> So yeah, and literally having a lamp has changed everything for us. It makes it so cozy in here with a little table lamp and I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. Oh my gosh. some breakfast just some eggs hash browns making sure to get my water in too i also have seen so many things about these better days greens well better greens and so they sent me a little package of them yesterday and i'm so excited to try them because emily kaiser i believe is obsessed with them she drinks them every morning but there's also like caffeinated ones that they sent which i'm not going to do today because i'm going to have a coffee but these are the non-caffeinated. I actually tried their better sleep last night and it tasted really good. And this is the passion orange flavor. I'm gonna go add more water. Okay, let's see what the hype is all about. Okay, they actually do taste really good. Honestly, my favorite greens are, well, now these because they are really, really good, but these and the mixers, her greens, also taste really, really good. I feel like the, those two kind of taste similar, but I really like. Also, really quickly, I'm gonna take my magnesium and. Oh my goodness! I don't know who needs to hear this, but when you're taking pills, put your head down instead of up. They go down 20 times smoother. But here is breakfast. Just put some Cholula and salt and pepper on top. And I'm gonna eat. And then Zeke's probably gonna go down for his first nap soon. All right, it is 8.48. Zeke is down for a nap. He went down like 20-ish minutes ago. I'm gonna make some coffee. And I've been really in the mood for just iced coffee, a little cold brew, rather than using my espresso machine that was a $1,000. Kiko loves that. <laughs> but these two together are just so good. I've literally been wanting to try this Chobani French Vanilla Non-Dairy Creamer forever and I can never find it in any store when I look. So when I saw it at Target, I had to. There was It was a must have. Deliciousness. Okay, while Zeke's napping, I'm gonna try to get in some quiet time and drink my coffee, do my five minute journal, and then read a little bit of my Bible. I'll link all this stuff down below that I use, including these, 
the highlighters that I use so I can get some good time in. Hopefully he takes a longer nap. Yesterday his naps were max 30 minutes each, which he's started to grow out of a little bit, but yesterday was just a rough one. So hopefully he sleeps for a little longer today. I thought I was recording for the past three minutes I was talking to you, and I wasn't. But I wanted to tell you guys, um, if you were like me and had zero clue on how to start reading your Bible and how to start Bible studying, any of that, don't worry, I was there too, you just have to start. I've seen so many things of like what books are easiest to start in, and I chose to do John first. Um, when I first started reading the Bible, like a couple years ago, I literally started Genesis 1. Genesis 1 verse 1, and tried to read it that way, and it was not doing it for me. <laughs> so when I'm starting again, I started in John, and it's been really good because it's really just the story of Jesus' life. And, and it's a good way to just like preface everything else you're going to read in the Bible. Um, but yeah, I know it can be really intimidating, especially with just everything to understand in this book. But what's helped me is, first of all, this Bible in particular. This is the One Step Closer Bible, and it's the NLT version, the New Living Translation. So everything's in, like, modern-day language, super easy to read and understand and flow. Obviously, there's a bunch of words and names in here that I cannot pronounce for the life of me, but everything else is very easy to understand, and that's what's important to me because if I'm just reading words and not really comprehending any of it it's pointless to me but the fact that i can actually read this and understand it makes me feel so much better about reading it so this bible's linked but yeah i just thought i would hop on and tell you that it is almost 11 o'clock now and we are gonna head to my sister's house because i am watching my nephew while she goes and gets an eyelash extension phil so we're heading over there right now we've been doing mommy and me otds for 30 days on my instagram and tiktok so if you want to go see those go watch them because they're so cute and i've been like coordinating and matching our outfits so it's so fun so i'm wearing this sweater from airy which i love and i want it in more colors blue leggings and i decided to wear converse i was wearing uggs in the video but it's raining and i don't want to get them ruined so we've got the green and white stripes and the green and white stripes you matching mommy oh my gosh we're gonna head over there and I'll probably vlog when we're there. I'll try to remember to vlog because I never remember. Say hi. <laughs> Here we are. Zeke needs to take a nap. We just played on the floor with some toys with cousin Riley. <laughs> and now he's tired, so he's gonna take a nap. Why do you want to say hi? Look, Zeke, look at me. <sighs> He's trying to eat the pillow. Is there anything you want to tell them? Oh. Yeah. Okay, what? Uh, yeah, no. Okay, think about it. Are you going to disappear? <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. That was so good. Yeah, where did you go? There. Ready, magic. <laughs> You're so <laughs> fast. Oh. Try to throw the blanket up so you can <laughs> run away before it falls. 
Good. That one is good. That's funny. I scored it. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing, Yuki? Here he comes. Oh, it looks good in the camera. Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. We are heading to soccer games. Well. We're only making it to one this weekend because we already missed the first two because Zika's napping. So we're going to Costco, the bank, and to go get coffee. And then we're going to make it to the last game at 12, which is my nephew Aiden. So let's go. Hello. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Can I get a name for the order? Yeah, Keikoa, K-E-K-O-A. Great, what can I get started for you? Can I get an iced vanilla latte with oat milk? Yeah, for please? sure. Iced vanilla latte. Would you like that regular or large? Um, just regular. Okay. Oat milk, you said? Yes. Great. Anything else for you guys? And can I have a white mocha latte, yeah, please? Yeah, for sure. Uh, iced or hot? Hot, please, with oat milk. Great. Will that be all for you guys? Yes. Great. And do you have rewards with us? Um, no, I don't. That's totally fine. You can tap right there. Great. You're just gonna ask you a couple questions. Thanks. The what? Kia Nero. Time for Target. Hi. Your drink. Oh, nice. Nice. Hey, get in there. Surprise. We're putting Zeke in a pumpkin. <laughs> I didn't think I would be one of these moms, but here I am. We found the perfect pumpkin at Costco today, and I just carved the hole. Nikki! Hi, baby! Alright guys, hello. Happy Monday. It's been a couple days since I vlogged, I think. I was gonna do a weekend in the life, like I said, and then things kind of just got really busy. <laughs> and when things get busy, I tend to focus on life and forget to film. So, here we are, Monday morning. You wanna sit up? And it's a good day already. It is 11.41. Zeke woke up at six, and then I fed him, and then he went back to sleep till 8.30. So it was perfect. And then we went to the chiropractor. <laughs> He's also been doing this new thing where he talks with his mouth so wide open and it's so funny. Is the water? Um, but yeah, went to the chiropractor, took him for the first time with me. And it was kind of stressful. We were there for over an hour because it was so busy. And he was ready for a nap by like halfway through. So it was a lot, but now he's eating his little broccoli littles that I meal prepped for him yesterday and they are a hit, he loves them. I'll play the video I made right here, making them. and cry And I know that lately it's been hot We had a bumpy ride But if you give me one more chance I make it a for life So if you want to come back home We're about to fold some laundry He's just eating some breakfast or lunch almost, because it's already almost 12. And that's what we're doing today. Say hi. Hi. 
is that Nami? I just got a package in that I'm so excited to open. Um, if you don't know, Shop Daffodilly is like one of our favorite baby clothes brands to get clothing for Zeke from. And they just came out with embroidered pieces, like custom pieces. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, how cute. These little sweater rompers. It says Zeke on the front. So stinking cute. I love things with his name on it. And then we got a 2T little crew neck that says Zeke. And he'll definitely fit into this for a long time. And also the sweater romper looks pretty oversized too. But this is a size 6 to 9. So it should fit him because he's only 7 months. So stinking cute. So these two custom pieces. This is something they came out with that just says Mama's Boy. Which is so stinking cute too. It's embroidered but it's not custom. Um, so cute. It's like this really dark olive green. So thank you, Daffodilly. I love your pieces so, so much. Hello, you guys. I want to take a quick second to talk about today's video sponsor, which is Jenny Kane. Jenny Kane is a California-based brand, which obviously I love being from California. And all their stable pieces just makes creating a perfect outfit easier than ever and so effortless. Three things they focus on are comfort, quality, and timeless design, which I think they nailed. They have luxurious cashmere sweaters. They have very elevated everyday basics that you can wear and even beautiful accessories and home decor. So as you all know, clogs are a fall staple for probably everyone. I personally have their mock clogs in the shade Laurel and I am in love with them. They've become an everyday at home staple for me because they're so comfy, so cozy. Look at the inside of these heaven. They're also very well known for their super lightweight and beautiful sweaters. They're best sellers for all year long, but I would love to style them for fall especially. Everything they have is designed so intentionally so that it's so effortless to just throw together an outfit with all their different pieces. They also have a super cool rewards program where you can get 10% back on every single purchase and to join it's absolutely free, which is always great. So you can find your forever pieces at JennyKane.com. You guys can get 15% off of your first order when you use code Lauren at checkout. That's 15% off of your first order at J-E-N-N-I-K-A-Y-N-E.com using promo code Lauren. Thank you Jenny Kane for sponsoring and let's get back into the video. Good morning, it's the next day. Who would have thought? I didn't end up vlogging the rest of yesterday. We pretty much just chilled for the rest of the day yesterday. I just honestly forgot to vlog. So, here we are. Happy Tuesday! Say happy Tuesday! Pretty early still. It's like 8 o'clock or something like that. We're just listening to some Maverick City music. Didn't get too much sleep last night, so I'm a little tired. And look at my postpartum regrowth up here. Super cute. Hi, baby. All right, I've got my coffee, my sleepy baby, and we're gonna do some makeup and get ready for the day pretty fast. I'm just gonna do a quick, quick makeup. I always say that and then it ends up being a huge routine. So I'm gonna try to be quick this time and just do something simple. Just to feel a little more alive because I feel dead. I'm also literally so happy right now because my friend Taylor McGruder just announced her second baby and I'm so excited. She is such a sweet friend of mine and when she told me I was over the moon so excited for her and now that it's finally out to the public, I can't wait. I'm saying girl this time. I think she's going to have a girl. I think today's going to be the last day of this vlog. Um, I have a kind of a busy day though. I'm going to, on Tuesdays, I help out my sister because both of her sons have soccer practice at the exact same time at different fields. So, and her husband has been working pretty late. So, I help by taking one of them to their practices and we like switch off every week. So, this week I'm taking Aiden, who's the older one. And I'm excited because my mom is also staying with my sister for a couple days to just hang out. So I'm going to be able to see her too when I go over there today. And I'm excited. I haven't seen her in a while. Um, she is doing pretty well. She's almost done with chemo. She has maybe two, two or three more left, I believe. Two or three more sessions. So weeks. 
and I'm so happy that she's almost done with her treatments. After that, she has to wait about a month and then she has her operation. So things are definitely heading in the right direction and I'm just so happy that I get to spend time with her and see her when I can and have Zeke spend time with her too. Zeke literally loves her. He doesn't love many people, to be honest. Like he's in a very mommy or no one stage, most of the time daddy too, but my parents or no one. <laughs> Um, but he'll always love her and always let her snuggle him and I think it's the best thing ever. But yeah, as I was saying, we haven't seen her in a few weeks because Zeke has been sick, Keiko has been sick, and obviously we don't want to chance getting her sick because her immune system is obviously very, very low right now. Um, but yeah. So now that we're all better, I'm excited to go see her and then maybe next week she can come back and stay a couple days at my house like she used to before we got all got sick here. <laughs> she has a couple appointments this morning, I think, and like labs. So my sister's taking her to that stuff, and then after that, when they get back to the house, that's when I'm probably gonna go over there. Um, and like, obviously based on Zeke's naps and stuff, because he does not take great naps when we're over there, because he naps best in his crib. And obviously when I'm there, I have to just like put him in the carrier or the strap and he's just so like distracted when he's there because of all his cousins running around which is fine but he just never wants to take long naps so I'm thinking about getting like a travel crib or like a play yard type of thing that's like super compact and easy to move around so I can just maybe like keep it in the trunk of my car and then like when I head to my sister's house or something because usually when I go over there I hang out like for the whole day so he'll take his naps obviously there um so if I could just have like a travel crib to throw up in my sister's room or something when we're there I feel like it'd be a lot better because he'd take longer naps so let me know your favorite I've heard the baby Bjorn one is good I also know that Newton has one which is cool because it has the really breathable like mattress pad on the bottom I don't know. Let me know your favorites because I need to research more about them and get one. I know they're like $300 though, so I'm like, is it worth it? Is the investment worth it? But I think it will be because one day when we have to travel somewhere, I'm going to have to get one anyways. So I might as well just get one now and get use out of it while I feel like I would. Let me know your favorite travel cribs slash play yard areas. The weather today is so weird. It's 60 degrees right now and it's 920. But it's supposed to be a high of 80, so I'm like, how the heck do I dress for that? Warm, because it's going to be 80 later, but it's also only 60 degrees right now, and it's already getting pretty late in the morning, so... Also, my birthday is in, like, two weeks on October 9th, and I don't have plans for it, really, because we're in a very busy season of life right now with Keiko's paramedic school and all that, so we won't be able to even, like, really celebrate on the actual day because he'll be gone at school all day, so it'll just be me and Zeke, pretty much, but we're probably gonna celebrate and, like, go to lunch the day before, which is on the Sunday, I think, so the 8th, but I don't know. I I don't know and he's like asking me what the heck I want for my birthday and I'm like I don't know um I really don't like I literally can't think of anything so please help me out <laughs> with birthday gift ideas like throw one new pair of shoes maybe a new pair of Abercrombie jeans I don't just want to get something to get something so he asked me what I wanted and I was like he can just take me to lunch <laughs> like I don't need anything material Obviously, giving gifts is fun and all that, but like, I don't want him to just spend money because it's my birthday on something I don't really need and just like had to think of something, you know? I'll probably think of something from now until then, but for now, I have zero clue what I want. I've been loving this Dime Beauty Mascara. It's the Volume Mascara, and I was so iffy to try this because I have been a tried and true L'Oreal Lash Paradise fan. So I was like, I don't think this one's going to work for me, but I heard so many amazing things about it. So I tried it, and I honestly really love it. So here's your sign to try out new mascaras every once in a while, because you'll probably find ones that you like. And this thing is like, hefty. it's like glass too. Like I dropped it the other day, and it cracked on the bottom and like kind of shattered. So get you a good mascara. But if you want to try this one, I have a code with them. It's welcome20, I believe and you can try all their products. I am a huge Dime fan. You guys probably already know that. Definitely already know that. Do yourself a favor and try out their mascara. 
Okay, makeup is done. See these lashes? They did not look like this before. But I just threw on a really quick outfit. Yes, it's supposed to be 80 degrees later apparently, but I'm still wearing a sweater and some jeans. So that's what we're going with. And I'm debating on slicking these baby hairs down, but I also don't want to because I don't like how it feels. So I think we're just gonna leave them, let them be free. Zeke is down for a nap. I've changed 50 times today. What it, oh. I thought this was sweat for a second, but it was my coffee cup. Um, because it is officially like 80 degrees now and we just went on a walk to the post office because we needed to drop off some of my notepad orders and I was dripping sweat. So even this is very hot. This is the Skims boyfriend tee and Target little gray shorts and this is my grout fit of the day. <laughs> very casual, but... Zeke is taking a nap, praying it's a long one because I want to get some things done around the house. I have a lot to clean up. The living room is just kind of a mess. And we're going to head to my sister's house when he wakes up. So I need to get ready, get everything ready to go, and clean up while he's sleeping. So let's do a little quick cleanup sesh. Also, oh my gosh, I worked out for the first time yesterday. And literally, I want to say like three or four months and my legs are so sore and it's been so hard to get down on the ground with Zeke today because every time I bend down, my hamstrings and butt feel like they're going to rip. Ooh. In case you guys are wondering, these are still in stock. We've got a bunch more, just enough for all of you, but daily planners are on my website still, so go snag one if you haven't already, so you can organize your life like I need to. <laughs> okay, these packages are returns. This one's a return. This is part of our Halloween costume. Stay tuned, and then this is another return. These are both costumes for Zeke that ended up being way too big, so I need to return them and drop them off sometime. Finally brought down my newly named packet that I literally bought before we got married because I need to work on changing my name. So I still need to do all this. I just need to do it so that it's all done with. So I'm bringing this out so that I can remember to do it. And then I also wanted to bring out Julia's weekly planner because I do have my daily planner, but I like to have a weekly view too. And I haven't used that one in a while. So I'm gonna use that. This right here is all extra fall decor and also some Christmas decor that needs to go back in the garage. And Keiko keeps forgetting to do it. So I'm just gonna put it out there and then we can put it in storage later. Had to bring out the fall football blanket because it is football season and that is all that is on in our household at the moment. Okay guys, Zeke is up from his nap and I, I spent a little time filling out all my social security card information so that I can go take it to the social security Yay. office. Probably, I might go like Thursday or Friday this week so we can get it done with because I've been procrastinating. So I was doing that and I feel a lot better. Now I just need to take all the documents into the office. So I'll do that later, but we are gonna head out right now. I can go see Gigi and Benny and cousins. <laughs> I need to pack the stroller in the car. I need to pack the duffel bag, him in the car seat, and all the things. So I will update you later. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is 7.48 and Tiki woke up at like 7.15 today, I want to say. He woke up at like 5.45 first, but then he went back to sleep after I fed him, thank God. Someone woke up with two top teeth poking through. So you're gonna have two more teeth. I guess it makes sense why he's been sleeping so rough. So I thought they were gonna poke through for a few days and I'm, I'm pretty sure they finally did. 
Happy Wednesday. Today's actually the last day of the vlog. We are going to go walk with my sister and my mom this morning around like 9. So we have like an hour for that. And the sun is really sunning today through this window. I feel like it never comes through like this anymore. But it's beautiful and I love this morning light. It's just been really cloudy in the mornings here. Wow, you cannot see me at all. So now that it's actually sunny, we get really pretty morning light. It's probably like this downstairs too, but I just changed his poopy butt and I'm gonna probably start getting ready because we have to leave in like like 40 minutes. Um, so yeah. You're crazy boy. All right, workout set of the day is this one from Amazon. I love this. I have it in a few colors, so I'll link it because it is so comfy. Very cute. And I love this brown color, so I'm gonna throw on like a sweater over it though because it's still a little bit chilly right now. It's supposed to be really hot later, but for now, it's pretty cold, so. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Look at that view. Yay! Alright guys, we are heading out. I just threw on a hoodie and I just fed him some broccoli littles and we are gonna go. I'm excited. We're gonna get coffee first at this little coffee shop. That's where we're walking. <clears throat> just get to hang out. Maybe I'll make this a habit. Riley, my nephew, <laughs> gave him this Nerf gun to play with and Zeke loves it. He just chews on it. Huh, you love the Nerf gun. <laughs> I love you. Hard too. I had problems getting them in. <laughs> Mine's like broken Don't now. Spilling it. We, we saw a mouse in the garden. Yeah. Do you remember? <laughs> but I had yeah. yeah. And I would do the way for like, like a dark, like a dark one. The blondros. The greener the bean, the more cats in the bean. Ah! Did you see that? Yeah, you did. I thought that's something you learned when you were. Greener the bean? To be honest, the the greener the bean? Yeah, the lighter, the less roast bean. So not a green bean. Do they start green? I would wish green bean type guy. Oh, I haven't seen, seen that. I guess. Was, there was a picture in Starbucks. <laughs> Did you got, think they were cranberries? <laughs> <laughs> It is almost one o'clock. We're home now. It was such a fun walk. Zeke did really well on the stroller um, until about the last 30 minutes because he was so, so tired um, because he only slept like two minutes in the car prior. So he was very, very tired. So I held him for a couple minutes and he fell asleep and then he slept in the stroller, which was good. I picked up Chick-fil-A on the way home, ate that on the way home because I was so hungry. And now we're back. We might go meet them later again at a few stores or whatever, just to hang out. And yeah, look at my baby hairs. Hi, son. I love you. Rocco's drinking water, of course. But we got a few packages in the mail. So I want to unbox them for you. Because you guys love package unboxings, so I might as well join you in on the fun. All right, welcome to my package unboxing segment. Someone commented on my last video saying, how do you have so much money 
and you shop a lot. And all I want to say to that is mind your own business. Starting off with Target, I just got some of these Serenity Kids smoothie pouches that I wanted to try for Zeke. Um, they're dairy free, smoothie and protein, and they just look really good. Zeke loves Serenity Kids pouches, and these are just so good for like easy meals for him. And then these are the sweet potato spice, and these are the berry butternut. So, three of each. I'm excited to try these. I also bought puffs, which haven't come yet, because I'm excited to feed him some puffs. I think this is from Amazon, and it just shipped in the original packaging. Yeah, okay. This is maybe Zeke's Halloween costume. I've literally ordered like two already and both of them are way too big. So I'm running out of ideas and options here. I don't know if this is gonna be him because it might be too big, but honestly, this one looks like it might fit and it's really cute too. A little lion. His other ones were tigers because Kiko was a tiger for his first Halloween. So we wanted Zeke to be one too because It'd be really cute to like compare their pictures, but all the tiger costumes were so huge. So here's another one. And I'm obviously just returning all the ones that he doesn't fit in, clearly. Okay, this one is a monkey. Um, obviously he's gonna be an animal. Keiko and I are gonna be like safari people. Um, and he's gonna be a jungle animal. I don't know, Rocco's gonna be a lion. So it would be cute if he was a lion too but literally it's just whatever fits him. So, this one is so cute though, but it looks huge, see? I just don't know. Yeah, this looks ginormous, but I don't know, I need to try it on him. So, we've got the body. The cutest part is this little hat part, but I tried something on him like this the other day and he hated it, he ripped it off so fast. And then these feet, which are huge, probably just fall off, and then a tail. Either one of these would be really cute, whichever one fits him. This is what it looks like on, and I think it's adorable. So hopefully one of them fit him, but no promises. This is something so, so exciting. It's by the brand Motion Books, and I saw this advertise on my I think maybe my for you page or my Instagram I don't remember you guys are gonna be amazed by this and I'm so excited to unbox this for you and I don't know how I didn't know about this when I first got married it says our goal is to create joy by helping you showcase your meaningful memories through the motion books I'm so excited so here is what is inside it says always and forever on the front it's a linen little book you guys are gonna go crazy in a second because i'm about to show you you open it up okay pause that is our wedding video are you serious they can preload it on for you or it comes with a usb actually that you can load it on yourself all I did was send them the link to the video and they literally preloaded my video on. You can also, this is not sponsored by the way, they just gifted me this and I'm amazed because this is the coolest coffee table book ever, Zeke. You literally just open it and then it plays. You can rewind, pause, fast forward and turn the volume up and down. I'm literally shook. And it plays the whole video. I'm getting chills because I literally think this is the coolest gift you could give someone post-wedding or like whenever, like anniversary gift. This would be amazing. And they come in like different designs too. And they come in gold foil. I chose the black. But you guys, I'm like, this is the coolest thing ever. And this is like genuine excitement because this is amazing. And I'm gonna watch this after I finish unboxing things because I'm so excited and I'm gonna show Zeke too because he's never watched our wedding video. I'll link these below. I am obsessed 50,000 times, but this is the coolest thing ever. The last package is from Walmart. For decorating for fall, I ordered a couple prints, as you can see, for the wall and I needed those three more, so this is what these are. I bought the prints off of Etsy, like the downloadable version, and then I went to Walmart's website and ordered the actual prints in the right sizes. So I need to hang these up eventually, but just, oh man, it only comes with one. I'm still waiting on two more then. Fall vibes. Dee, that's so cool. All right guys, it is obviously much later. It's 
I'm in bed and it's time for me to start editing because this is the only time I get to do it. So thank you all for watching. I wanted to end this vlog off here and just honestly tell you guys how much I appreciate you because I know my videos can be so hectic, chaotic, a mess. I say I'm going to film one thing, end up filming multiple days later, and it's just my life right now. So I appreciate you all for all your love and support no matter what my videos look like. I just love you guys a lot. And I truly wouldn't be able to be doing what I'm doing right now without your support and staying home with my baby. So I seriously appreciate you all more than you know you make my life possible. And yeah, I love you guys. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok too because honestly, I post very consistently on like all my platforms. So if you want more content than just YouTube, make sure you head over there and check those out too because I post quite a lot on both. So. I love you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.